we have some of the finest aviation professionals in the United States Army. They are still the best in their field. Each soldier plays a vital role no matter what military occupational specialty they hold. taking the best of the best from around the globe to make them part of our coveted team. Our aviation professionals are the big piece and core of why we're so successful. My job is as the Directorate of Aviation is to uh, house and feed essentially all aircraft and maintenance thereof support the flying hour program for the major activities of the 28th ECAD and the EATS. So the Eastern Army National Guard Aviation Training Site uh, is a TRADOC institution of excellence. Uh, we are one of four Army National Guard aviation training sites across the nation. We're the only modernized aviation training site in the Army National Guard, meaning CH-47 and UH-60 current modernized platforms aligned with the active component. The 28th Aviation Brigade remains a relevant force in the total Army based on the soldiers and families' commitment and selfless service across all, all of our military occupational specialties. So Pennsylvania is very uniquely postured. We are one of the largest aviation programs in the nation in the National Guard. We have roughly 61 aircraft assigned to major flight facilities. We have the busiest flying hour program uh, in Compo 2 and the busiest Army heliport next to Fort Rucker, Alabama. So we are uniquely postured in that we have an MTO unit, the 28th ECAB, and we have a schoolhouse uh, TDA that is uh, mission by National Guard Bureau and TRADOC. We provide a variety of courses being programs of instruction that provide uh, initial qualifications and or graduate level qualifications for rated crew members being pilots or aviators, non-rated crew members being flight engineers or flight instructors. So the Pennsylvania Army National Guard Aviation Enterprise uniquely supports the Commonwealth for any emergencies that the governor calls upon us for. A great example of our synergy is when we have come together to produce Task Force Aviation. whether it be mostly flood activity or natural disasters, we're always ready, always there. We're postured to respond and do hoist rescues with the Helicopter Aquatic Rescue Team and in coordination with FEMA. Uh, we've done that countless times, saving lives of Commonwealth citizens. And we also extended beyond our borders when there was hurricane activity in Texas, Florida, and even uh, the Virgin Islands. I see Pennsylvania postured very well. We've already been on the leading edge of fielding the UH-60 Mike, the UH-60 Victor, soon to be fielded to the 28D cab. PA is a big state. We continue to provide and are a leading edge. The future of Army aviation is bright. Today's soldier members will see the largest fundamental shift in technology and capability across all domains in the history of the branch.
I think most importantly, our people are why we're so successful and why we're postured better than most states, let alone anybody in the United States Army. The success of the brigade for every mission or training event that we have is a soldier. A soldier that is committed, a soldier that is disciplined, and a soldier that has selfless service. Each soldier plays a vital role no matter what military occupational specialty they hold. One of the keys to retaining these individuals is making sure that they know that they're valued, but behind every single soldier we also have a spouse, a significant other, a child or children. We have parents supporting them serving in this great unit. Without their support, we will not be able to have soldiers that are professional doing their job day in and day out, holding down the nation's security. The EATS delivers tremendous value to the aviation enterprise. The why is directly correlated to our people. So our people are our most coveted resource and asset. And we're different because we provide a lot of stability. So. A lot of folks that have served across all compos may be looking for a location where they can find stability with their family. I am so lucky to be able to work with so many fine professionals in aviation to make this program as successful as it is.